Hi guys and welcome to the Aging Games. If you are looking for simple ways to look younger, then I'm going to give you my top 10 today. I'm turning 52 in a couple of weeks. Um, people do tell me I look younger than my age. If you don't agree with that, then please stop watching this video because then you probably have nothing to learn from me. I also want to tell you that aging is a beautiful process and there's nothing wrong with getting older. And if you don't want to do anything about it, you just want to age naturally and not use any of these little tricks or hacks, then that's absolutely fine and you're beautiful as you are. But if you want to find some simple ways to to help improve this process and to look a little bit younger and feel a bit better about yourself then please do follow along and let's get started so the first one and I talk about this so much but the easiest simplest way to look younger is to get a good night's sleep and you know as we get into menopause it gets more and more challenging to sleep well and to wake up rested but you know on those days when you wake up and you're super rested and you slept so well and so deeply and the lines are all smooth on your face and you just feel amazing so the more you can get good quality sleep the of course the better and the fresher you're gonna look and there's no makeup or anything else that can replace this so this is number number one by far if you want to learn tips on how to get better quality sleep then please do check out this video that i have here otherwise let's move on to number two Number two is also a very simple one, is to wear a ponytail, wear your hair up. I mean, I'm doing a little trick here right now because my I've got a lot of growth. I need to get my roots done and my hair is a bit flat, a bit dirty. So I just kind of threw these sunglasses on and it just kind of lifts everything up. I'm not wearing the sunglasses, but I just threw them on the top of my head. So it just kind of elevates everything. But I mean, when you're doing a ponytail, you know, a high ponytail and you pulling your hair back like this, or even just pulling the sides up, it's almost like an instant facelift. So wearing a ponytail, a cute ponytail, or little braids, side braids, all of those things, you know, they don't just physically pull your hair, but they also give you a cute girlish kind of look. Now be careful with pulling too much or wearing it tight all the time because that could lead to hair loss, but as a quick natural solution, ponytails are a great way to go. Number three, is whiter teeth. Teeth are so important and being straight is not as important as the color of your teeth. So having nice white teeth is always a sign of youth. So if your teeth are starting to get a little bit yellow, then there are a lot of things that you can do. One of those things is oil pulling. I also have a video about this. So you can find all of those videos on my channel. But oil pulling is something that I do first thing in the morning. I use coconut oil, but you can use different kinds of oil. I like the taste of coconut oil. And I do about 15 to 20 minutes of just swishing this around in my mouth all the time. It has various health benefits in addition to whiter teeth, but whiter teeth are really huge. And also, you know, to have whiter teeth, be careful with coffee, with red wine, food colorings that can also stain your teeth. So be careful with those things. You know, if you have um, problems with your teeth, you can also get veneers. I don't really recommend a professional tooth whitening that they do at the dentist's office or even the ones that you do at home because they can really damage the enamel on your teeth, which is what happened to me, which eventually led to veneers <laughs> so there's there are natural ways to whiten your teeth but ultimately if there's nothing else that's working then veneers are a good option there's composite veneers also ceramic veneers and I also happen to have a video about these as well the fourth tip for looking younger is fuller lips so fuller lips are also a sign of youth and you know we all want those nice perky lips and as we age you know we lose volume this part starts to elongate and we have less teeth showing and the lips are getting thinner you know all these wonderful things that happen with age but there are some things you can do obviously lip fillers are an option and a lot of women are getting that and they feel better about themselves after having the lip fillers that's one option you know sometimes that can really go over overboard and it just you know they become duck lips and it doesn't look natural but the simple really simple way to do it is to just get a lip pencil and just kind of line your lips on the outside of your mouth. So just slightly outside, not, not too much because then it looks really obvious. And then you can use the same pencil to color in your lips a little bit and then apply your lip gloss or your lipstick or whatever that you normally use. It's a little bit, a slight way of cheating and just making them look a little bit fuller. And it's also really important to, you know, to hydrate to keep the lips moist because that, then they'll also look more plump. Little small tip. 
Now, number five kind of goes along with what we were talking about with the lips, but it's to change up your makeup. A lot of us, and I'm guilty of this because I'm, I'm horrible with makeup, as you can see, I have no clue what I'm doing. So I keep it really, really basic. And when I do get professional makeup done, I'm like, wow, I could look like this. But I mean, I would never spend, you know, two hours every morning getting ready. I just don't care. And I don't think it's good to on your skin to put on so much stuff all the time. So I like to keep, keep the makeup really simple. Um, if you're using foundation, it's it's really important not to use thick foundation because it can get into all the wrinkles and the creases and it makes it show even more or matte foundation can be really harsh as well on older skin what i really like i'm going to show you two of my favorite things this one's from biologic it's a serum it's a tinted serum and it's just so light it's, you feel like there's nothing going on your skin it just blends with your color and just gives it like a smoother like that's what i have on right now it just gives it a smoother appearance but without looking cakey and without getting into the lines and the wrinkles and it's because it's a serum it's also moisturizing your face all day which I really like I love this one and the other one that I'm using right now is from uh, Trini from the UK I ordered this and she also has some really these are also serums and they're tinted serums so I really like this new concept of tinted serums because you're getting the benefit of the serum as well as having a little bit of color applied to your face now also you know eye makeup don't go too overboard don't go with the heavy colors the black eyeliner things like that those are really important it's better to keep things neutral rather than the red lipstick go with a pink or a beige or more neutral colors i think can be much nicer on older skin but also it's a good idea to go to a professional and get some advice and have a professional makeup artist do your makeup for you and tell you what looks good on you because we're all different we have different skin different color of skin and everything so it's really important to find the colors and the products that look good on your face so if you do have someone that you know and trust it would be really good to have like a consultation and learn the right products to use i think that could go really a long way and even just small simple makeup tricks can make a really big difference now number six is an internal thing so this is something that you would take this is taking hyaluronic acid capsules internally and what this does it's hydrating your skin from the inside now we know hyaluronic acid can be used as fillers it can also be used in uh, skincare products creams and serums but another alternative is to take it internally so you take these capsules every day and then you know your skin is being taken care of from the inside as well also collagen is really good so those things the health of your skin what you radiate on the outside is a reflection of what's going on inside your body so the healthier your body is on the inside the more beautiful the more radiant your skin is gonna look so that's why I think supplementation comes in and definitely hyaluronic acid is a really great supplement to take for caring for your skin now tip number seven a simple tip once again and that's to wear bangs bangs fringes wisps every country calls it different but you know to cut your hair with like nice long bangs here side swept there are so many nice styles now i don't look good in bangs so unfortunately that doesn't work for me and also my forehead is still gets very greasy and oily so my hair just gets really dirty by the next day so it doesn't work for me i do like the look of them and they can be very they can make your face look very youthful and also it's a great alternative to botox because it will hide all the forehead wrinkles it It'll hide the 11s so you can really do a lot and really play around with them so if it's something that you haven't tried before then you know if you have a good hairdresser ask for a nice side swept bangs or something whatever is in in style right now and see how that frames your face and how it can change your look completely and definitely make you look younger okay and number eight we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things we're gonna talk about eyebrows and I'm sure you guys have noticed that thick big bushy eyebrows are back in fashion and I was so blessed when I was younger I had like huge bushy eyebrows and of course I was crazy because back then it was very fashionable to have like pencil thin eyebrows so I just waxed them all off and they never quite grew back so it's been a real challenge trying to grow my eyebrows back and there are a lot of things that you can do I also have videos about this so please do check out my channel for the other videos the first thing that you can apply to your eyebrows to make them thicker is castor oil i use this product every day and i apply it to my eyebrows and i definitely have like here i wax this off completely and it never grew back and now i do have some little tiny hairs growing there which i'm really happy about you can also buy some of these products this is Librel 
and I just ordered this about a week ago so I'm gonna start using this as well and see how this works for making them a little bit thicker there's also micro pigmentation you can get your eyebrows tattooed which I already I also have years ago I used to do them very thin now I'm always going thicker and thicker and thicker because I do really like that look and I do notice that it actually changes the whole shape of my eyes it changes the shape of my face and I do believe that it makes it gives a younger look to the face overall and so I'm kind of glad that this is back in style you can look at the models and the actresses and everyone's growing thicker and thicker eyebrows now so it's kind of cool and um, some of the things you can do if you don't want to do the micro pigmentation you know you can just use a pencil and you can fill your eyebrows in where the hair may be missing and there are different colors different products different pencils that you can use another alternative is um, these little eyebrow I'm not even sure what they're called but they're kind of they have like fibers inside them so when you put them on your eyebrows it acts, adds a bit of texture so it's not just um, color it can also cover gray hairs I have a couple of gray ones in this one but it also adds a lot of texture to your eyebrows which is really cool so I do like these I like the pencil as well and sometimes I do add them on top of my eyebrows even though I have them colored permanently because it does start to fade after a few months and it just kind of freshens them up every morning and I do notice the difference like when I put these things on it really frames my face people don't realize how important eyebrows are but they can really really make a world of difference now talking about a few gray and uh, another way to make them thicker is to color them regularly of course you can go to a salon and get them colored that's the easiest way to do it but you can also do it yourself at home and I found that most of the colors that they sell for women doing eyebrows at home they don't really cover the stubborn gray like I don't know I, I put them on I leave them on for a long time and it just doesn't the color doesn't take so it's quite frustrating uh, I heard about this tip that a lot of women are using beard color that is for men and it's actually designed for more stubborn hair so I've been this is what I've been using and um, this is just for men it, it does take much better and what I'm using is a dark brown you don't really want to go with black unless you really want dark eyebrows and you have very dark hair otherwise a dark brown medium brown should work perfectly so ladies pay attention to those brows they are super super important okay my tip number nine for looking younger is not to forget about your hair so why are hands important hands will always tell your true age that's what they say that even if the face still looks good and everything when you look at someone's hands then you can really tell their age now the easiest way to take care of your hands is when you're applying serums creams whatever you're doing to your face put the same things on your hands so don't neglect your hands you always have some cream left over make sure you apply it to your hands as well there are some really good hand creams that you can use and also don't forget about your nails I just had my nails done they're pretty eh? and actually it's really funny because um when they placed pictures of different hands in front of people and asked them to estimate the age of the person the state of the nails and the color of the nails really made a difference so it wasn't so much the quality of the skin and the wrinkles but nails that were well manicured they were painted a nice color or french uh, manicure those were deemed as younger hands so you know we do pay attention to our face a lot to our hair but some of us might be neglecting the hands and if you're finding that you're getting a lot of age spots and wrinkles then there are, there are some really good salon treatments that you can do like co2 laser can be great for erasing those if you're losing a lot of volume in your hands then um, they're also doing fillers for the hands and stuff like that. I haven't really done anything with mine but I know the time is coming <laughs> and it's good to know that there are so many options available now number 10 is going to be a really simple thing that you can do and that's a big wide smile and again they did these studies they presented different photos thousands of different photos to people and asked them to guess their age guess the ages of the people in the photos and happier faces were always deemed to be younger so the bigger the smile the younger the more approachable the sweeter it just gave off a completely different vibe to people and also you know when you smile you're pulling up your jowls you're pulling up your neck everything kind of gets lifted 
it and the eyes go upwards which is a nice thing so that's a really simple trick to do smile as much as possible don't worry about the smile lines or the wrinkles that might be forming because you are smiling because those are nice happy lines i don't think anybody needs to be worried about that and you know you see those people that don't smile that are not happy that are always frowning and as you get older you're like you know <laughs> yeah, everything turns downwards so I think the more you can smile and the more you can laugh the more you're pulling things upwards and the more youthfulness and the more positive energy you're projecting to others which I think in itself is absolutely beautiful so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoy these 10 tips they are very simple you can start these anytime any day you can just incorporate one or two if you like them you can use all of them if you have more tips for me and I'm sure you do then please feel free to comment below and let's get the community going and getting more tips out there for everyone to look and feel younger and guys if you want to know more anti-aging tips from me I have this amazing book the aging games how to come out a winner with over 100 anti-aging tips that don't just involve physical things but a lot of stuff what to eat how to exercise and all of those things environment that are super important so please do check that out below as well and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me please do like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notification every time i post a new video thanks so much for watching wishing you all a lovely day